Welcome to the best of our interviews, a podcast from the Marriott Breakfast Show. Sir Paul McCartney. Yes, sir. Okay. By the, by the way, when we're off there, we, we have some most unusual discussions and conversations. What were we talking about? Well, the fact that people are living so long while we're off the air, right? And, and all sorts of weird things. Yeah? It's crazy. Like, Darcy, you were saying, like, your parents uh, went through and did their vows again after 65 years. Their marriage vows, right? Their marriage vows. Yeah. Wow, amazing. Fantastic. Isn't that incredible? Yeah, absolutely. And your dad is, what, 90? 90. Same age as mine. And your mum? 86. 86, and they just did but their marriage vows it's again. not just that he's 90. He's trucking down the road last week. He was in the Seychelles. And I can't he's really... He's going skydiving yeah. next week. No. Amazing stuff, isn't it? Absolutely yeah, and they're incredible. coming over soon to visit. Yeah. Amazing. We're asking, where were you 50 years ago when that gentleman stepped off the uh, lunar lander? Where were you? Patrick, where were you? And do you have any memory of that occasion? I was in the ladies' room of the Naval and Military Club. The uh, ladies' room? Have you, is the la- there something the you want to tell us? The ladies' room, which okay. was the ladies' part of the club, right. okay. the ladies' toilet. To oh. oh, sorry. So, that, the ladies' bar, restaurant and lounge area. That's oh, better. Is that because the women and the men could not be in the yes, same? Yes, you have to separate them. Quite okay. Quite really? Quite in those and, days. And were you able and to watch this was, on television? There was a black and white TV, yeah. and all the families were there, and my father thought it was the most fantastic thing in the world, and oh, we all sat there and watched the landing. Great. So that's fantastic. exactly where I was. Did you have somebody on? And Richard Crooks, uh, our, one of our listeners, said yeah. he was in the TV room at primary school, and they all cheered when they took the first step. Absolutely Thank right. Thank you, Richard, for your comment. Isn't that incredible? So yeah. there we go. Where were you 50 years ago? when Neil Armstrong took that uh, first step for mankind. Let's move on, a song, then we'll be back and have a chat to Richard about what's going on up at the 19th hole. Frida Ridings is her name, she's from East London. The song is called Castles. Good song. Good track, isn't it? Yeah, Great really voice. good song. Like yeah, that voice? I love it. Yeah. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> All righty. Richard's here uh, with his wife, uh, Doris, and um, you're often seen up at the 19th hole, which is this new place over the top of Hinleck Fire, and Robbo is the guy that runs that. Yep. And I do like to have you in on the show, because you're always doing some interesting stuff. Well, so, the, the thing is also, up? Richard, you've been very kind to us as well, and you've helped us out a lot with Surf Radio. And uh, you, I mean, you were actually there for the opening event, yeah. uh, which was a great night. It was good. Um, and what we've done since the opening, which I think was, um, oh, I can't remember now, was it about from January time? Yeah. We've, tra- we've expanded our uh, events policy. Um, Robbo, as you know, uh, and his wife Noon own the uh, uh, the nineteenth hole, yeah. but but Robbo w- works away. So I, he's an oily. He's uh, uh, yeah, he's on. He's, he's a sick lad at the moment. He's coming back uh, he? today. Yeah. Right. But anyway, I, I, something good going on. Yeah, I, I look after the events, and um, what we're doing on on this coming Saturday is our first golf music night. So we will do the golf in, uh, during the day at Springfield normally, and I think we've got 30 to 40 people attending that. There's uh, a few more spaces left, so if you're interested, please get in contact with 19th Hole. Okay. And then after the golf, then we uh, go back to the, uh, to the bar, where in the evening we'll have a presentation for the golf. Mm. And then that will be followed by uh, food, which will be uh, supplied um, by May's Kitchen, yeah. which would be a, to a high degree, I'm sure. Yes. They're always and good fish and chips. Yes. Everybody knows May's Kitchen, yes. especially in Henlick Fire area. And then after that, we've got this band, as I say, that uh, we brought down from um, Bangkok, the mm. Fab Four, Thailand. And um, it's music that we we love. Beatles, yeah. most of the, the age group that, that come within the, our bar anyway, All certainly right. will appreciate that. And hopefully it'll be a great night. I should think so. Sounds good. I should have lined up some Beatles. I didn't. Well, we'll do some a bit later. All right. I tell you what, um, let's take a, what do we have to do? One song, then we'll take a break, Mm -hmm. then we'll come back and find some Beatles. Okay. Does that sound good? Sounds good. Right now, though, let's go back your generation. 1980 is Dolly Parton on set. Is it nine to five? No, it's actually 20 past eight. 
So there we are. You've been Come. busting to say that, haven't you? <laughs> <laughs> you were such know. a DJ. Oh, I don't know about that. Yeah. Dolly Parton, going back a bit, and we were saying, what were we saying? Beatles songs of uh, in Lake Five next week. Should yeah. be good. Well, we, we, we hope it's going to be good because it's going to be the first of what we uh, hope to be a regular one month um, attraction. Yeah, yeah. Whereby we'll, we'll, we'll mix it with the golf, obviously, during okay. the day because that's our yeah. pull. Yeah. Um, but we want to keep things fresh. We want to have entertainment there now. Yeah. Um, give something to the local community with the Henlek Five because it, it's, a, it's a growing Well, I was going to community. ask you, you know, do you, you do work and stuff for charities and things as yep. well, don't you? You yep. do fundraisers. We, well, I, I th- we did a big fundraising uh, event last year for the Mercy House Children. Yeah. And um, we raised 146,000 baht. Wow. Um, who, who, who the, the Mercy House uh, Children's Home in oh, Cranberry. Yeah. Yeah. And um, with auctions and various other functions and things that we did, we, we raised 146,000, mm-hmm. which enabled them to pay all their water electricity for the whole of the year. Um, and then we gave a whole stack of other things, and that, you know, um, toiletries and things to the school where the kids wanted. And they came and sang for us, and everybody had a tear in their eye. Uh-huh. You know, it was Christmas, oh. you know, it was, it was a great evening. And, yeah. um, but it was nice to give some. Something back yeah, to, to absolutely. people as well, you know. Right. Just very, very quickly, you got the Beatle, oh, what do they call themselves? The, the fab, band? Fab Four Thailand. Fab Four Thailand. Fab Four Thailand. All right. On the 27th of July. So 27th right. of July, Saturday next week. Right. Time? And uh, it'll be kicking off round about 7 o'clock at night. Yeah, nice. Well, there you go. That's going to be good next week. By the way, Paul McCartney was in uh, LA East. last week. Mm-hmm. Uh, he and Ringo Starr performed together for the first time in many years just yeah, last week, which was good. Yeah, yeah. And I thought we should play... Did you want to say something? No, well, I was going to say, because he's just about to produce a stage show for the first time in his life right. as well. I saw that uh, on the okay. news yesterday. I thought that's what you were going to say. No. So there you go. Well, stage we do show. have some Beatles. Oh. Mm. Shall we do them next? Do it. Who likes eight days a week? Is that all right? Absolutely. Good good stuff. Stuff. On the way. Five. Breakfast show with morning coffee from Siam Bakery. Calvin Harris and Heat Stroke. Yeah, know the feeling. Hot stuff. Eh? Stay out of the sun. Yeah. Please. Suntan on. Hat on. on. Yeah. Water in hand. Sunglasses. Sunglasses. All right. So cool. that does it really, doesn't it? Exactly. <laughs> Richard, thank you so much for coming in. And Doris, lovely to meet you too. And just very quickly, 19th hole. When is it? Saturday, 27th, next Saturday. And the golf, yep. obviously, is in the morning at Springfield. Places, yep. places still available. And the evening entertainment will commence around about 7 p.m. Lots of Beatles um, music. And what do, we look, what do we look for on the net to find it? If you go to the 19th Hole Facebook page. That's it. The 19th, 19th Hole Facebook, Facebook page. page. All the information is on there. And if Sounds you want uh, to join us for the golf or indeed for the whole of the day, you can either go to the 19th page and leave a message yeah. or you can go direct to the bar at Henleck Fai. All right. Beautiful. Thank you so much. It's been lovely to and see you this you morning. thank you very much for allowing me to have this uh, opportunity, to Richard. Thank you very much. Have All right. On the way, we've got our guests, more guests coming in. I'll tell you in just a few moments after this, new music from Ed Sheeran. Ed Sheeran, he's teaming up with all kinds of people now. Everybody. Yeah. As if he needs to be more famous, but he's just, he's doing it. He's doing he just feels job. like he wants to do this kind of stuff, and that's fair why enough, not, you know. Not? He's there with Khalid on this time, uh, and the track's called Beautiful People, New Music at Surf. It's about so, us. Do you like that? Oh, it's not bad, mm, is it? Yeah, I like it. It's okay. So, so, yeah. yeah, it's okay. Mm. All right. Not quite a shape of you, but... You no, know. that's right. I like All right. it. Yeah. Yeah. We're asking, where were you, or were you even around 50 years ago? <laughs> that's probably the question, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> that's, probably, that's probably a lot that were around. A lot of people were not around. That's exactly right, All right. <laughs> actually, now that you now, say that. Now, were you around 50 years ago when this took place? The appearance to be uh, very, very fine-grained as you get close to it. It's almost like a powder. Yes, it was absolutely amazing. We put a post on our Facebook page so yeah. for people to 
put right. in where they are. We'd love to water. know what you I'd were doing yeah. when they did that. Yes. And don't just write watching the television, all right? I mean, that's cheating. <laughs> <laughs> and I can't believe there's no naysayers out right. there that hasn't right. said, well, it didn't happen. Uh. You know, I'm sure there's some people out there who are. I think, uh -uh, oh, not did sure it happen? Those. Was it a conspiracy? Well, yeah. didn't it, didn't, what time of day did it happen? Because. I, it was the moon, they I didn't think, have day. I think it was. <laughs> but the actual landing was quite late at night, wasn't it? Was it? So it wasn't like. Well, I don't like know, know which country you were in well, correct. at the time. I was in um, the United Kingdom. Were you? Yeah. Well, that makes sense. Yeah. Everybody would have a different perspective. Yes, that's right. Depends <laughs> well, where you were. Right. Sure. There was actually a really interesting, good. It was kind of a B rated movie right. about the guys in Australia that manned the satellite that picked up the pictures. Oh, Did you ever see yeah, that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah it was yeah. quite a tacky movie. Yeah. But well, it was also quite an emotional ride as well. Mm, no, yeah. That was a big movie in Australia. Was it? Yeah, yeah it was really amazing. Typical Australian yeah. humor. So what, there was a special station in Australia because yeah. it was that side of the world. Yeah. Well, the Earth was turning the, the whole yeah. time, so they had yeah, to yeah, swap yeah. from one satellite to another. While they were well, that that damn moon just doesn't stay in the same no, place. No, you can't keep the moon in one place. No. Funny. Uh, all righty, change the subject. Okay. On the way, we got a couple of guests coming we in have. very shortly. We have. We got um, the president. No, dun, not dun, him. Dun. We got Kunapa. Kunapa coming in. The president of the Rotary. Yes. Here in Wyhin, the Royal yes. Wyhin Rotary. And Arnold. And also Arnold coming in as well. Yes. They'll be coming in and having a chat with us in just a few minutes about everything that goes round and round and round. All That's why they rotary. call it the Rotary. Oh, yeah, oh, back in a minute. The Marriott Breakfast <laughs> Show will be back soon. As we're here live at the Sign Bakery. Are we live? We yes, are. we're live. We are. Yes. I'm alive. <laughs> Patrick's here. Um, <laughs> could nap her? Congratulations, you made it to the Sign Bakery. Lovely to see you here this morning. I couldn't have a, you're the president now. How does it feel to be the president of the Rotary? Well, it's going to be an exciting year yeah, for, I'm sure for our is. club. And, uh, you know, like our um, committee, the golf yeah. committee, has been doing a lot of work. Okay. To and Kun Arnold, welcome. Thank you, Richard. Lovely yeah, to see you here as nice well. Nice to be here. Were you around when astronauts walked on the moon? 50 years ago. Do you remember? No, Where were you? No. No? Where was I? And at, at that time. I yeah, I have to think about that. I, 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 remember, I, re I remember. You remember? You remember? Where were you? Yes. I was in high school, second year yeah. high school. And that day the school just put the television. Did they have it on TV us? here in yes. Thailand? Yes. 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 In, so it was uh, everywhere. In, in Bangkok. Wow. The whole school we just watch yeah. when the uh, new Armstrong Stepped on the moon. Unbelievable. We had a couple of people <laughs> on our Facebook page, like Tim Newton was yeah. in Mount Eliza in Australia. Hello, Hello Tim. Tim. Fellow Aussie. Patrick Jacobs, of course, was yeah. on holidays with his parents in and Italy. And his camera. In, probably back with his little uh, box brownie. Yeah. And Ian Cameron remembers it, with, you know, as a school kid. All right. On the TV yeah. in his classroom. So do I. You know, I was 14. Yeah, yeah there you go. I was go. five. I, was no, a kid. I don't Between remember arms, anything. Yeah. Missed out. <laughs> okay, so where were you when Neil Armstrong went on the moon? Yeah. And that track, it's yeah. called Ocean Drive, which is quite appropriate for surf, really, isn't it? Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> All righty, here we are, live at the Cyan Bakery. Absolutely. And, um, of course, we'll play some Madonna in just a couple of moments. That was... Um, Getting it's a bit just, carried away. Just getting us in the mood. Yeah. Holiday just, in the you know, mood. Tea, it's what we call a teaser. A teaser. Is a that teaser. what you call yeah. it? Yeah, we'll right. call it a teaser I'll in the remember train. that for next time. All right, we're live at the Sign Baker here at the Marriott on the Marriott Breakfast Show. Great to be here. and love to have Kunapa. You've just um, been made president at Rotary. Yes. How long have you been involved with Rotary? Well, actually, um, three years. Yeah. But believe it or not, 39 years ago, I received a scholarship through Rotary Club in Norway. Really? The Rotary Club of Fredrikstad to go there and spend a year yeah. in, in Norway. That's unusual. And how did the Rotary start here in Hua Hin? Okay, 10 years ago, actually, we, we wanted to join the Rotary of uh, Hua Hin. Yeah. But unfortunately, they only spoke Thai. Right. And I went uh, to a few of those meetings, you know, but I needed to bring someone, you know, to, uh, to translate, yes. you know. So we 
We started with a small group, I think we were with about seven, eight people, and we started the Rotary Club of Royal Huwahin, and yes. it was an English okay. language Rotary. Yeah. And uh, now, 10 years later, we have uh, 54 members from 14 different nationalities. Because what, what, yeah, yeah. what happens at a Rotary meeting, like if you're a part of the Rotary? Okay, actually the only objective we have yes. is to contribute to society, okay. to use our knowledge and experience as managers of companies and owners of companies and to do something for society. Okay. Most of us are retired people. Yep. Right. And um, yeah, and, and what we need is money. You know, right, we, okay. we, 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 <laughs> what we do, you know, we bring our knowledge, our experience. Uh, we raise funds for schools in, in, in rural areas. We build up the canteens, and to raise those funds. Not by spending them by the right. Okay. <laughs> well, last year alone, we spent one million and seventy thousand baht for um, a total of eighteen projects. Here eighteen in, projects around so, this district. Around, can you describe one mm, or two of the projects very briefly? Yes, what type of projects? Certainly, like uh, last year, we uh, we donated two important machines to Hua Hin Hospital. Right. One of them is called the nerve stimulator machine and the other one is the uh, bronchoscope. Yeah. Okay. okay. That's two. And so when we do we donate another ten computers for just the local Hospital alone. Just for the okay. local, was that the Wahin Hospital? Yes, Wahin does. So you put computers into the hospital, mm -hmm. and you've also supplied some some medical equipment. And I know that you also help um, people in more rural areas as well. Is that right? Correct. You know what we do? We go to look at schools and we see what they need. Mm -hmm. And very important is, for instance, clean water. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So we help them to get clean water. Yes. Okay. Then the next step, you know, is to to upgrade the canteens and the and the, and the sanitary and facilities. Yes. You know, these are very important Absolutely. things. And we don't give money. No, we don't really give cash. No but cash. Good idea. No cash. We do the do. job. You well, know. then it's done. Yeah, yeah, you yeah. You know, yeah, in the yeah, schools yeah. or whoever and, you're getting it. And the basic literacy. Yes. Like we donate the books, we build library. Yes. And playground yes. for the local school. Okay, yeah. sounds good. That's amazing. Excellent. Great work. Excellent. I asked you just a little while ago, what kind of music did you do you like? I'm an Elvis fan. You're an Elvis <laughs> fan. That's good. <laughs> Arnold, there you go. Bit of burning love. Beautiful song. Beautiful. I've heard you do uh, some singing at uh, around the traps as well. Oh, yeah. he's a great singer. He'd be a good person to invite to parties. I really like parties. I really like singing. Yeah. Burning love. There you go. You'd almost be a DJ there, couldn't you? Yeah, oh, you yeah. would. He's very professional. Oh God, now you get some competition. <laughs> you, can, you can sing, you can talk. What else can you do? Yeah. Yeah. What else have we got going on at, at Rotary? Mm. Um, because I know, well, we were just saying off mic that um, oft, often, sometimes the perception is that, you know, it's a bunch of older guys getting together for a social and having lots of meetings. But what actually gets done? Because you're saying that's not necessarily the case. No, it is. It is that we, of course, we, we have our meetings. We have our weekly uh, yeah. meetings. And there is like, uh, actually, the meetings are also very interesting to uh, to go there, you know, yeah. because we have always interesting speakers. Yes. Uh, and there is always uh, nice people to yes. uh, to meet. Yes. We have our uh, meetings on Tuesdays uh, mm. afternoon in the in the Mary in the Amari, 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 down in the Amari right, right. right. Mm -hmm. and everybody is uh, is actually welcome to uh, to join those meetings and have a look you know how it works you know, well you those? usually have a guest speaker in fact I've been a guest speaker you there a on a couple speaker. of occasions yeah. and it's normally a, you know very quite a casual and okay. enjoyable event yes. and I think what I find is that um, with the other speakers not from me necessarily but you actually do learn a lot because as you get older of course, you've gained so much more experience mm. in life. Exactly, exactly. Right? And that is what we like, you know. We like because all those experience we built up in those years, you know, when we were working, eh? it should not be wasted. Mm. You know, you can use it. And together, of course, you are very strong. 
that is also why we are able to organize a golf tournament uh, yeah. like this, you know. Right. So one of our biggest fundraisers is this golf tournament on the Banyan. And it's a lot of work, it believe is. me, you know, to organize an event like this. And with this event, uh, last year, we raised 1.1 million baht. That's wow. terrific. That's unbelievable. Well done. Unbelievable. Yeah. But of course, with the support of our uh, our sponsors, yes. uh, you know, uh, like, like our main sponsor, uh, the, the Orchard Palm Homes, you know, and we have uh, many other like... Uh, uh, really like those guys you know who's yeah i met i met a couple of your sponsors in fact we took the radio station up there ah, remember and right. um, you had that abanion didn't you down exactly the road. exactly right? yeah, yeah, yes. yeah 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 you were, we there. were there for a little bit yeah and, indeed, uh, indeed. it was interesting to see so everybody enjoyed the golf but then how was how was the how were the funds actually raised you say through a sponsor what does a sponsor do okay we, ha- we yeah there are, there is a, a few opportunities you know to sponsor this uh, event mm-hmm. we have um, main sponsors uh, we call them platinum sponsors and they uh, contribute 200,000 baht mm-hmm. wow yeah? mm-hmm. then we have uh, that's a platinum plus then we have a platinum and that is 125 and so we go all the way down to supporting sponsors will they will contribute about 15,000 mm. so all together you know is that we promote their uh, of course uh, the, the, the uh, companies, them, their the businesses, business, what yes. they do. and we s- supply a very beautiful day on the golf course yeah. uh, for like 132 golfers. Wow. Yeah. And believe me, it is the best day of the golf course of the year. Right. Yeah, it's amazing. You know, the players pay 5,000 baht. Mm-hmm. Okay. But for this, they get shirts, caps, balls. Green fees, mm. cards, caddies. And the dinner? Dinner. And yeah. It's unbelievable. You know, mm. how we can do this for this 5,000 baht is actually unbelievable. But like I said, with all those experience, you know, with these guys who put their shoulders uh, mm. under it, we can get it done. And at the end of the uh, day, we have a dinner with a raffle and an auction. And all together, this brought us 1.1 million baht. That was terrific achievement, mm. wasn't it? Isn't Fantastic, that good? Yeah. amazing. Do you play golf, by the way? Yes, sure. Yes. This was, that that was one of I don't. <laughs> no? No, you're a bit, no, I don't play. I don't really have time Just to do watch, that. Just watch and look. I don't play. No. Yeah. That was no. actually... Actually, you a golfer? Uh, no, not at all. Not really? Not, not at all, all. Right. but I was just looking up uh, something about the Rotary Club. That, yeah. Uh, that, because I've always been like a lot of people. What what is the Rotary Club? What do they do? Hang on a minute. We're going to move this mic. Hang on. Okay, go on. So I looked up on the on their website, and it's a, a, a group formed by Paul Harris in, yeah. on the 23rd of February 1905. So professionals with diverse backgrounds could exchange ideas, form meaningful lifelong friendships, and give back to their communities. Oh, that's and that's what Rotor that's is all about, isn't it? What is True today. Well, very good. All right, let's take a very short pause. Exactly. And we'll be right back. Let's take some music. Then we've got some local news and sports. So we've got about a 10-minute break, and okay. we'll be back. Okay. Right. Sir, 102.5. The Marriott Breakfast Show. Big Fish and Bar is Hawaiian Marriott Resort and Spa's signature restaurant, nestled on the golden shores of Hawaiian Beach. The restaurant promises prime cuts of meat and the freshest local seafood. Savor the catch of the day, cooked to perfection by our chefs, accompanied by international fine wines, craft beers, and creative cocktails. Big Fish and Bar makes every occasion feel truly special. At Hawaiian Marriott Resort and Spa. You're up to date with your sport on this Friday morning. Well done, sport. Nice one. All righty. That's Steve Johnston with his sport back with us next time. Surf 102.5 with Konapa from the Rotary and also Arnold as well. He's got quite a lot of things up his shirt sleeve. (laughs) He also likes music from the 70s. I was wondering if you recognize the song. You know the song? Any idea? No. I'll tell you, it's Ace and How Long. I see Kanapi, you like that track. <laughs> I love it. I love it too. It's one of my favourite songs. Isn't it good? Yeah. It's a feel good song. It is, it is. 1974. Something like that. Ace, Ace. and How Long. Yeah, great right here at Surf 102.5. Everything's been going on with Patrick. <laughs> 
<laughs> okay. Now tell us how you're involving uh, schools and the youth around uh, Hilihin. Well, we are working closely with our Rotaract clubs, yes. which is um, Stanford International University right. and at uh, Webster University. Yes. Especially the Stanford, they are very, very active. So we like partner in crime. So these young kids go into deep jungle area and look for people who need help. Yes. And then we support them. Yes. Because uh, we support them financially and of course spiritually yeah. and then we physically go there with them if we could to uh, do whatever that the, the needy, needy people need. And so the Rotor is not only about older people and experienced people, you, you know, you're quite welcome to a different age group coming and supporting, coming in and supporting? Of course. Yes. yes. And what other projects are you working on? Uh, this year we are looking to do the what we call eye camp. Yeah, now mm. what is that? Well, we are going to bring the mobile vehicle, the eye care vehicle, oh, okay. from uh, Ban Prao Hospital. Just to give you the history of it, yes. that, uh, at Ban Prao Hospital, our district, District 3330, yes. had donated this uh, mobile vehicle worth 30 million baht wow. to, to the hospital so that this mobile vehicle goes around and do the eye check for you know so it tests the, everybody's eyes yes, make sure they can and then see they okay. make they make uh, spectacles for them and that's going to happen we 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 hope and that is going to affect about 1130 yeah. people yeah. in two school one of them will be at the uh, orphanage school yes. mm -hmm. they have about one uh, 580 students yes and at Nong Khon School, we're looking at 460 students yeah. plus 90 teachers. Mm. That's an incredible project, mm. isn't it? But that's yeah. a great project, I think. Yeah. You know, to help, you know, get build up or get people Absolutely to amazing. see, or yeah. you know, if they've got a problem, get it early. Yeah. So this is really where the money goes that is raised mm. at these projects and these golf events exactly so you've got the golf event when is this big golf event okay place? this year's golf event is the 10th anniversary so it must be a very special and we're aiming for a very very high amount this year oh, yeah. so we urge all our sponsors and potential sponsors you know to contact us mm. because on the 29th friday the 29th of november at the banyan golf club we will have our anniversary 10 years charity amateur golf tournament okay right so okay. Fantastic. to be a part okay. of we'll come back and do a bit more about that Absolutely. in just a few minutes okay time for another tune and then we, we have to <laughs> this one's got a bit of energy that's it the bell stars and sign of the times and the time is getting on it's about a quarter to 10 9:44 already so 102.5 the Mary breakfast show Believe it or not, we're at the Marriott in the Sion Bakery. And we's, we've got Kun uh, Napa, the president. The president! <laughs> of, you of, love of, saying that, don't I you? I do, yeah. yeah. Well, I know. well you know, at least you have a sensible president. Exactly. And, uh, of course, that's of the Royal... No, the Rotary Club of Royal Hua Hin, yes. right? And Arnold's here as well. So, once again, you've got the golf event. The date? The date is the 29th of November. And if mm. you are interested to more, know more about it, you know, yeah. just go on internet, you know, and search for the Rotary Club of Royal Huwahin. Then you will find our website and all the information about okay. the tournament. And you've got a okay. Facebook page as well. And we have a name. Facebook page, absolutely. Yeah. Okay. okay, so again, it is... It is the Rotary Club of Royal Huwahin. Well done. Yes. Okay. Kun Napa and Kun Arnold, thank you so much thank for today. You. You're welcome. Um, hopefully you're going to get a lot of interest. And we'll, um, I'll tell you what I'd like to do. I'd like to make you up a free little promotion, which will run from time to time on the radio. Would oh, that work? That would, that would be perfect. Actually, there's one thing I would like to mention. Okay. And that is that we um, are planning, and we are on the way quite in uh, a while already, is that we want to make a Rotary Education Center uh, for right. the non con school and for this we need 4.5 million baht Oops. so 
please guys, help us out with this, you know, you can do it, we're all just, together. I just didn't bring that kind of money with me today. <laughs> otherwise, you, otherwise you already have contributed. <laughs> yeah. No problem. Okay. No, Richard, thank you so much, you know, for giving us the opportunity Happy to, to promote uh, yeah. our, our tournament so okay. and the Rotary Club. Okay, great. Now, our question earlier today was... Where were you when Neil Armstrong landed on the moon? Mm. You can, uh, if you would like to go to our Facebook page, we'd like to hear from you. Absolutely. We'll do a little bit of a feature about the Neil Armstrong thing. Also, a couple of other things that were going on 50 years ago. And we'll do that in just a few moments. The Marriott Breakfast Show will be back soon. Daryl Hall, John Oates, Kiss on My List. Uh, what, a, <laughs> what a song. Uh, again, was your era. Oh, I love Hall and Oates. My favourite song was She's Gone. Oh, yeah, that's yeah. a nice old Yeah, isn't really it? great song. Yeah, we play that from yeah, time to do. time. I yeah, you do. I hear it. I hear it in the that's afternoon. An old we hear it. That's a classic. Yes. It's a classic. Yeah. Yes. Alrighty. Well, where were we 50 years ago? Um, well, a lot of people were watching television. Mm. And mm. they would have heard uh, Neil Armstrong as he was about to land, you know, and walk on the moon. <laughs> So I want to play that little clip again. Instead right? of my sound effects. Your sound effects. No good. Go on, give me another sound effect. <laughs> Is that your moon sound effect? Correct. All right. That's all you get. Wow. Very, very fine grained as you get close to it. It's almost like a powder. Ground mass is very fine. Now I'm step off the limb. That's one small step for man. There you go. And of course it was. Mm. Quite an amazing thing. Mm. The pictures were so blurry in black and white in 1969 when that went down. Uh, absolutely incredible stuff, wasn't it? And do you remember BBC Television, Patrick? The guy James Burke. Yeah, you used to do tomorrow, Tomorrow's World. I which was like looking at new technology. Yeah, new things. And in fact, he used to live in Italy, and I know he studied science and technology. Mm -hmm. And then ended up going on the BBC. Mm -hmm. As you said, he did that TV show. Mm -hmm. he, he's also very well known for being the commentator. Um, during the time of the moon landing okay yeah. and everybody loved his commentary because he used to sit there with some black square glasses right right which was a little bit little tv sets one in each <laughs> eye you know. and he would he, his commentaries were amazing i've got a short clip okay. This is James Burke. At this moment, Apollo 11 is nearly 35,000 miles out from Earth and heading for the moon at 7,000 miles an hour. Everything about the mission has gone so perfectly that a mid-course correction due early tomorrow morning won't now be necessary. There have been two small errors. They did use a fraction too much fuel in a maneuver just after they left Earth orbit, and the second error was gratifyingly the computer's fault. We now learn that launch this afternoon was 724 milliseconds late. Tomorrow they have a fairly relaxing day ahead of them, with plenty of time to wonder if the Russian Luna 15 has pipped them at the post. Gerald Bank have said that Luna's on a course different from any other Russian moon probe and one that could well take it to a lunar landing. If it's going to scoop up moon rock, it should be getting down to the digging on the surface sometime tomorrow morning. No mention of all this in conversations between Mission Control at Houston and the Apollo crew. No mention of much other than the barest technical details. Although perhaps the crew are going to be a little bit less cold than we thought they were going to be. Just now, Mission Control asked them why the long period of radio silence, and they answered, that wasn't radio silence, that was a sandwich in my mouth. And so there you go. And that was James Burke, 50 years ago. Wow. Wasn't he? was so detailed, and yeah. everybody loved his commentaries. And um, I just thought it was well worth remembering. And I do now remember. It was yeah. the rush. You yeah. Know, the US had to rush to get yes. there because they thought the, 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 Ru Russians the Russians might beat them. Beat them and of course, David Bowie had that amazing song, mm. not because of the moon landing, but because of the movie, which was called, what was it called? Mm -hmm. 2001 A Space Oddity. Oh. Right? Indeed, indeed, right. indeed. I'd like to play a clip, but we don't have time. But we do have time to play the David Bowie song. Great song. About Wonderful. a spaceman that got lost in space. Bowie's always welcome. Yeah, absolutely. And that's it from us today. Okay, good morning. Bye bye, Martin. Ground control to me. Listen again for another Marriott's Breakfast Show podcast.